So over the past two days, I'm sure you've heard about this. There's been a little bit of tea and a back and forth slap fight between Greta Thunberg and former boxer Andrew Tate. Now, I don't believe he boxes anymore. Now he does this men's advice thing. I believe they call it the manosphere. I don't know a lot about it other than the fact that personally I think stuff like that is a ruse. No one can, no one's going to be able to change you. You have to want to change yourself. I think a lot of that stuff is just uh, taking advantage of people. But this was kind of humorous. So these two got into a little bit of a, a slap fight. Uh, Tate says, hello, Greta Thunberg. I have 33 cars and is basically saying, you know, look, the emissions this, these put cars put out is crazy. And then she says, uh, please do enlighten me. Email me at smalldickenergy at getalife.com. And he responded today with something of him smoking a cigar. It wasn't a very good clap back. I got to be honest. But that's not what this is totally about. Some other news came to light. And apparently he has been arrested today. Now, he lives in Romania. This is a Romanian press website. So I've got two articles here, one from Euro Weekly and one from Dextro. Now, this article makes the claim that he's arrested for human trafficking. Now, this article doesn't say that. Uh, the original tweet that I saw was this one. Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan have been reportedly arrested by Romanian authorities in a human trafficking investigation. And here is the footage of them being brought out and put into the police vehicle. Now, this is all alleged. I don't know if this is true or not. But if it is true, that's messed up. I don't want to read this one because they put a lot of stuff in here, like saying that he's connected to organized crime and all this stuff. I don't know if that's true or not. All I know for sure is the man has been arrested. I'm going by what the news is reporting here. And there's not a lot to report on. Like I said, there's like two or three articles on it right now. I imagine it'll get picked up more as time goes on. But the reporting that he was arrested today by Romanian police in relation to the abduction of two girls. Now Tate and his brother have been taken into custody. The raid is said to have been carried out by DICOT, and they are the Directive Investigation Unit for Organized Crime and Terrorism. As the news broke, a clip emerged, and I showed you that clip. This is the clip here again. Uh, this is him apparently in this hoodie right there getting put into the police vehicle. Let me Actually, let me blow that up a little bit so that you can see it better. We don't need to listen to the reporter. So this is him right here, I, I believe. And he's obviously trying to hide his face because, I mean, these are nasty allegations. Nasty allegations. And if they're true... Uh, what a piece of garbage this guy is. But to be fair, we don't know what's going on yet. The authorities have reportedly focused attention on a number of luxury vehicles at the residence. Uh, Antenna 3 CNN reports that a police trailer is on site, possibly to uplift one of the multiple vehicles. The same report also says that the home of a former policewoman has been raided in connection to the investigation. That's that That's crazy. So... I mean, if you've seen the movie Taken, right, I, I would hope you've seen it. It's a great movie. Uh, a good example of that is how, like, you know, the police working with the abductors. So like, this could be, and the fact that it's an organized crime thing, that means a lot of people would be involved. Uh, they go on to say here that he's faced allegations of this before when he apparently was swatted. Uh, someone would call, that's not a real, that's, that's not a real thing. What happens there, I'm saying, like, the, the allegation there isn't real. Because when people swat you, one of the things they'll do is say you've got someone they you've got somebody tied up in your house, and uh, they they send you know a, a bunch of police there to ruin your day. Basically, I like to call stuff like that attempted murder because people have died from that before. It's a it's a disgusting thing to do to people, and if you get caught for that, you should go to jail for the rest of your life, in my opinion. 
because it's attempted murder. But this is crazy. So you got a policewoman that's been arrested, and this dude and his brother here have been arrested. Uh, this is going to be nuts. So more shit will come out on this over time, and this is going to be something that I'm going to pay attention to because uh, if this is true, then, you know, I hope the worst for him. But if it's not true and he's targeted, then who knows? But like I said, the police woman being raided, that's kind of interesting. Uh, we'll see what happens. People that do shit like this, that abduct people and uh, put them into these kind of situations, I think are the worst of the worst. So we're going to see what happens. But these are damning allegations. Now let me know what you guys think about and let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my locals and my rumble, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.